Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports Systems. Here, we developed automated systems to help you win big, no matter which sport is your preference to bet on for that week. So today, we're going to do another Major League Baseball video, and you see here I'm at the uh, VIP Club section. If you're not already a member, please join. You'll have access to all these great tools to help you make your bets more easily. So we're going to go down through here a few games here as we begin the second half of the Major League Baseball season. So we're going to go down through here, and there are several games I want to look at. Weekend series. We go down through the list. The first one I want to take a look at here is the Chicago White Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. So you can see the White Sox here, their status is currently dead. And you see what they have done lately. They're not playing well at all lately. If you go down through here, we should have a list of their games. And you can see here for some reason. Yeah, there we go. You see here they've lost five out of their last six games. The one in green way back here on July 7th was their last win. You go to Tampa Bay, they are burning hot, and you can see that they have won four out of their last six, although they're coming off an 8-3 to three loss to the Yankees. If you look down here at the power rankings indicator, you can see their trend. You see the White Sox are trending low here at plus 6, and Tampa Bay is going up in there at plus 27. Take a look here at totals predictor. If you're considering better betting the over-under, you can see here that Chicago is trending below. They're trending under, and Tampa Bay is trending over. So it's best to avoid the over-under in this case because the teams are trending in opposite directions. If you take a look here now at the volatility oscillator, see how stable the two teams are. You can see Tampa Bay is a more stable team than Chicago. It doesn't mean they're better, but in this case, they are a better team. But in general, that doesn't mean they're better. It means that they perform more consistently, which their favorite or underdog status indicates. So now we're going to take a look at something I always like to do. It's the pitcher profit oscillator. To get that, you would have to go up here under, scroll back up here, all the way to the top. It's under oscillators, you will see here, under bonus tools, and you go down to oscillators. So you go to the pitcher profit oscillator, and we're going to go through the pitching matchups for this weekend. You can see uh, Louis Giolito is one matchup against Blake Snell, okay, and that is the scheduled game for Saturday. So if you go down through here and look at their pitcher profit, you can see here the profit margin. You can see Lucas Giolito is at plus 647, and uh, Snell is at plus 219. So if you're going to go strictly on this, you would think, okay, the White Sox have a better chance of winning. Of course, you have to take everything into consideration, but this is one tool that is very handy to use. So if you look at, the, uh, in that case, for the whole uh, weekend series, um, the other two stars for the White Sox are not particularly good as far as profit margin goes. The, the Rays are the better team. They should be able to take the series. I picked them to win uh, two games to one in this series. So now let's go, let's go down through here again to some of the other games. I had to scroll back up to get to the pitcher profit oscillator, but now we're going back to some of the games for this week. And the next matchup I wanted to examine is the Nationals and the Braves, the top two teams in the National League East face off. The Nationals are average at the moment. You can see they've won five out of their last six, though, and the Braves are burning hot. They have also won five out of their last six, although they're coming off a bad 13-1 to loss to Milwaukee. If you look at the power rankings indicator, again, I like to look at this. You can see Washington has trended down a little bit. They're at plus 17. The Braves are going up and down, but they're back up to plus 25, holding a solid lead in the division. Total's predictor, considering better than over under well, take a look at this. Washington is playing in games trending way under. The Braves are trending in games under. That's a very good indication to bet the under in games played this weekend between these two teams. Take a look again. I like to look at the uh, volatility oscillator, so take a look at that. You can see that both teams are really stable. So that means they're going to consistently perform according to their favorite underdog status indicates. If you look at the uh, pitching matchups for the, the weekend, uh, Max Fried is the best bet for the Braves over Anibal Sanchez on Saturday. Had, Fried is at plus 841 compared to minus 2,358 for Sanchez. That is the best bet for the weekend as far as the pitching matchups are concerned. Overall, the Braves are, are hot. They're the better team. They will take two out of three. In this series, scroll down through here to another matchup. 
of interest. Uh, let's look at Milwaukee and Arizona. Milwaukee right now is ice cold down. You can see here they are not trending very well lately. Ice cold down and they have lost four out of their last six. Although they are coming off a big win over the Braves. Arizona is average at the moment. And you can see that they have won four out of their last six. Recently coming off a two game losing streak. Power rankings indicator shows what? Well, both teams are trending a little bit downward. But Arizona still has a plus 15 to plus 9 edge in that department. If you look down here now at the volatility oscillator. As far as the stability goes, neither team is particularly stable, just barely above zero. So don't take too much consideration into their favorite underdog status. There are other factors that would be more important for betting in this game, or these games, excuse me, for the weekend. If we go to the totals predictor over under, you look at Milwaukee's trending over, and Arizona is in games trending under. So best to avoid the over under here because they're trending on opposite sides of the line. If you look at the pitching matchups, um, Zach Greinke is the best bet for the Diamondbacks. He's at plus 2,937 on the pitcher profit oscillator as compared to Adrian Hauser, who's going up against him at minus 222. Brandon Woodruff is the best bet for the Brewers on Sunday at plus 750. In general, the Diamondbacks should probably win the series, take them to win two games to one. The Angels and the Mariners. An AL West matchup, you see the Angels are burning hot at the moment. Winners are five out of their last six. What can you say about Seattle? Well, it says you're dead status, and that's about right. Losing five out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see a similar result here. As you see, that the Angels are at plus 21 compared to just plus four for Seattle. You go down through here. The totals predictor over under. Well, let's see. The best to do on this? Well, you can see that the Angels are playing in games trending over. The Mariners are playing in games trending under. So again, it's probably best to avoid betting the over-under in this series. Volatility. The Mariners are the more stable of the teams. So they're consistently performing, or more consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. Even though Seattle is at home, they are likely to be underdogs much of the weekend. Pick the A's to win the series. Excuse me, pick the Angels, excuse me, the Angels to win this series. Likely not sweep, but would not surprise me if they do. Anyway, the Angels will win the series. Now, let's take a look at one more matchup I want to take a look at, and that is the Mets and the Giants. National League East versus National League West. Well, the Mets right now are burning hot. You can see that they have won four out of their last six, coming off a three game winning streak. The Giants are average up. At the moment, and they have won four in a row, though, including a couple of blowouts in there a 19 to 2 win over Colorado, an 8 to 3 win over Milwaukee. So they have been playing much better lately. Power rankings indicator shows what? Well, you can see that San Francisco actually now, even though they're lower in the standings, they are plus 13 compared to plus 10 over the Mets. Total's predictor over under in this one. Well, let's see. This time you can bet the over because if you notice the Mets are playing in games trending over, the Giants are playing in games trending well over. So go for the over in this series. Pitching matchups. Well, two of the three starters for the Mets, Noah Syndergaard and Zach Wheeler, are profitable. Uh, but only Tyler Beatty on Friday for the Giants is profitable. The worst bet of the whole weekend is Jeff Samarza. Minus 3,899 profit on Saturday. So clearly do not go for him on Saturday over Jacob DeGrom. In general, the Mets are better, even though the Giants have been playing better lately. Let's give the edge to the Mets to win the series two games to one. So again, if you're not already a member, please join. You can join in all the fun. You can see all these wonderful tools that will help you uh, bet the game. So enjoy the weekend's games. Have a great week, and we will see you next time.